Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about something that's been really exciting and helpful for me, especially in my weight loss and my postpartum recovery. So today I'm gonna to be talking about intermittent fasting. Now I've been using intermittent fasting for a couple months now, and so I wanna talk about kind of the benefits of that, why I'm doing it. Since I am a nursing mom, I wanna let you know what I did to make sure that I didn't lose my milk supply because it can be easy while you're fasting to not have enough milk, and at that point it gets really painful. So first I wanna jump right into the benefits of how it specifically has helped me. So intermittent and fasting is used a lot for weight loss. In fact, I've lost 37 pounds since giving birth. So I weighed 187 pounds before I went into labor. So that was the week I was due. And then after I gave birth a few days later, I weighed myself and I was at 171 pounds. Now, three months later, postpartum, I weighed myself and I weighed 134 pounds. Meaning since I gave birth at 171 pounds, I have lost 37 pounds to get to my current weight of 134 pounds. But at the same time, I've had a lot of trial and error and intermittent fasting to make sure that my milk supply doesn't go down. I know everybody's different. I'm not a nutritionist. So the reason I started intermittent fasting was not only for weight loss, but also the benefits it has on your gut health. And if anybody knows me, they know I'm really big on gut health. For using intermittent fasting, I had an overworked gut, which means if you're just eating all the time, your body's constantly trying to break down food and constantly trying to digest. Now, giving your body a break from all this constant digestion lowers your body's blood insulin levels. This is really great because it reduces insulin and resistance and by doing that you reduce your risk of obesity and diabetes. This is also a really great help with inflammation and I do get bloated a lot. I notice that when I eat a lot of carbohydrates or I'm not using my intermittent fasting, sometimes it's so painful for me that I can't even lay on my stomach. This has been one of the key factors that I've used to help reduce my inflammation levels and reduce that bloating. There are also a lot of states that say that intermittent fasting can help boost your mental clarity. And so as a mom, you probably know that the phrase mom brain is a real thing. And unfortunately, I've really figured that out since becoming a mom. And because some studies are saying that does help boost your brain function, I will take anything I can to get my brain and mental clarity back. Now another thing they talk about that it could possibly improve is your sleep and I've noticed this as well. I don't have as many weird dreams and I have a lot easier time falling back to sleep when I wake up throughout the night to take care of my baby. Most moms can agree that we do not get enough sleep as we need and it's very hard having those late hard nights with your baby. So anything I can do to get better sleep I will take. Another thing that studies have shown is that intermittent fasting helps replenish your gut bacteria by giving your body a break from the constant diet digestion, you have time to replenish that gut bacteria that's going to help in the next day to break down all the food. I'm a strong believer that your brain and gut are very much connected and so all these health benefits I was really interested in trying this myself. Now when I started intermittent fasting I did a few things wrong for my milk supply and for myself in general to be consistent with the intermittent fasting and I want to go over those things so that hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I did. So the first thing I did wrong was I wouldn't eat enough during my time where I was actually eating. Now I kind of went into intermittent fasting with the diet mentality and you know, I had to cut back calories. In reality, I should have been focusing on eating until my body felt okay. That's one thing I've been training myself to do is listen to my body and know what it needs and know what it wants. And I make sure I eat until I feel fully satisfied. And that's one of the reasons why I make a really big breakfast in the morning. Now I make pancakes and eggs every single morning because my body really craves those carbs and those proteins in the morning. And that really helps me stay consistent in the intermittent fasting because I'm so satisfied after I eat. Now you're going to be seeing in a few minutes here what I eat in a day. I'll have that at the end of this video but I also want to talk about another important factor which is hydration so if you're not hydrating you know your milk supply will go down and so it's very important for me to be constantly drinking water throughout the day I bring my water bottle pretty much with me everywhere I go so at night during my fast I don't have to worry about my milk supply going down another thing I do is I give myself the amount of treats that I want during the day I'm always munching on little pieces of dark chocolate and that's just what satisfies me that's what my body wants I know I definitely should cut down on my sugar intake but for now just to make sure that the intermittent fasting is sustainable for me and that I can do it for a long time, I definitely allow myself to have those treats throughout the day. Another thing I do to make sure I'm very consistent with intermittent fasting is I'm very flexible with myself on my eating time. So most days I either eat between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. or 11 a.m. and 7 p.m., which means I'll either have my breakfast between 10 and 11 a.m. and then I'll have my last meal of the day between 6 and 7 p.m. And this honestly varies depending on how many you slept at night and how well I get on my morning routine. I know with having a baby, it's hard to do things exactly how you want them to. Also, when I do go out with family or friends, I don't always stick to my fast and that's okay. 
I let myself have fun and I just relax when I'm out with family and friends. I think I probably use intermittent fasting about 90 to 95% of the time throughout my week. And then on certain nights when I'm just so hungry and I don't feel good because I'm not hungry, I will go eat a snack because that means I didn't get enough food throughout the day. And so I will just give my body what it needs later at night, even though I try to avoid that, which is why I try to eat bigger and more full and satisfying meals throughout the day. So I don't have those 9 or 10 p.m. cravings at night. I put together a full day of eating for you guys so that you can see what works for me, what works for my body. This is typically what satisfies me in a day of intermittent fasting and what makes my body feel the best. So the first thing I will do in the morning is hydrate. So I'm going to fill up my water because I just got back from my walk. And then I'm going to head over and fill up my coffee cup. I always make sure to measure out my creamer as well because you can get a lot of extra sugar and calories by not doing so. So starting on my breakfast, I'm using the Kodiak cakes as well as my collagen powder. I use a half of a serving of the Kodiak cakes which ends up being a fourth a cup of the Kodiak cake mix along with a fourth a cup of milk for the extra protein and then I add in one scoop of my collagen. I like to add in a few blueberries, they're my favorite fruit in the morning right now, and then I just pour that into the pan and let them cook. And then of course my breakfast would not be complete without my favorite nut butter, which is the Nutso butter. I get it at Costco because it's a lot cheaper to buy it in the bigger tin like this. And then I start cracking my eggs, I will scramble those together, and then I will start cooking those up. Once that is done, I will add it on the plate next to my pancakes. I will put a little bit of shredded cheese on top. Sometimes I'll add some fruit on the side and then I'll put blueberries to top that off and there is my finished breakfast. All right, and since I'm starting on lunch, I'm just gonna fill up half a glass of water and add a couple splashes of apple cider vinegar to make an apple cider vinegar drink. I always try to pick up these salad kits because they're so easy and so delicious. The Southwest one is one of my absolute favorite ones and that is what I am making today. And I'm just finishing putting on all those little toppings that came in the kit. And I also wanted to mention to you guys that I use the Kirkland Signature canned chicken sometimes on these salads. I'm showing it to you guys right here. Today I didn't add it, but I wanted to make sure I included it in this video because I definitely add them on when I have those days I need to stay full for longer or I just need the extra protein. Moving into dinner, I'm at my parents' house and this is what they prepared. Half of the plate I put steamed zucchini and squash along with some pasta salad and some meatloaf. I just wanted to show you guys how I assembled my plate for dinner and voila, that was my dinner and my full day of eating. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this or hearing about my postpartum health and postpartum weight loss, go ahead and comment that below. I'd love to have you guys come back next week, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. It really helps me know what kind of videos you guys enjoy watching. And we will see you guys next week with a new video. Thank you.